some of the donkeys. There's two more donkeys playing hard to get. So, still out here, west of Mitchell. Got our donkeys in the yard. One Jack, three adult Jennies, two baby Jennies, and a baby Jack. We're just gonna start handling them a little bit, moving them around the yards. See how they go. And hopefully tomorrow when we go to load them, they'll go straight up. Very curious little creatures, aren't ya? Not the end of the donkey you want to be playing with. Anyway, I can't really take video and watch donkeys properly and be aware of everything, so I'll uh, take some more video when I feel comfortable enough to do it. So, I don't know if you can tell, they look a lot calmer. We've been in the yards with them for probably half an hour or so, just walking them around and talking to them. They seem a fair bit happier with me standing fairly close to them. We're going to give them a break now and a little bit of hay and some water as a treat for being such good donkeys. We'll come back and talk to them again this afternoon. This is the life, boys outside moving cattle panel. I get to sit in the air conditioned tractor. 37 degrees outside. <laughs> oh, I've waited a lifetime for this. Panels we bought over to create a wing for the donkeys. So get them into this little set of goat yards in front of us anyway. Can't really see them on the Just to get them out of their paddock while we educate them a little bit. And once we got them out of their paddock, they were reasonably easy to handle on the motorbikes. But they did take a little bit of getting out of their paddock exactly where to go that the bikes couldn't really follow them that much. I should probably get out and help them with that last one. Good job, boys. So, our time out west, rapidly drawing to a close. Donkeys have been a bit of a challenge. We've got them in the loading yards. It's 
spending some tight time getting them a bit used to us. Little goat yard. Made up of pretty much gate panels. Yes, I mean very different landscape. Very different stuff for the boys to do. Hopefully. guys on the channel will have found it interesting as well. As I said in the beginning, unbelievable the contrast in colours out here. Red soil, different colours of green, huge, endless blue sky and clouds. Nearly, nearly came out. Come on, donkeys. See it. Trying to get one lot of interesting beasts to coax another lot of interesting beasts out of the truck. They just do not want to come off the truck. Mums is out. Big fella had a look and went, no, it's all too scary. There we go. You've only got to look this way. Come on, donkeys. Walk out. Oh, I would really like to put them in the yard so they get used to the yards. Don't Bobby. Oh, yeah, yeah. Surely you should follow now. Come on, walk out. Kicking things. There we go. I'm doing a lot of tape and border. Show them getting off, but getting off is just as good. Come on. Let's go, donkey. Yeah. Yeah, headed up to the 
the mountain block on our back road to release the donkeys. Got the dogs in the truck. And Don't go in the back. my number one gate opener. <laughs> came for a drive, but well, that's what she thought. Come to open the gates. Well, I know exactly why you bought me. <laughs> Commentary on what she's doing. 
Absolutely. Hopefully this one I'll just walk straight out. Plan. We always have a plan. We can always get executed well. Come on, dogs. So, Lucy. Get out of the way, Lucy. Way dog, Jesus. Here, sit, sit. Lucy, Lucy.
New paddock, ladies and gents. That's it. Get used to it. Oh, look at the rub mark on that old donkey. Is that the smaller one? The smaller uh, white one? They were leaning all against her. I had a fair rug mark on them. The travel from um, Mitchell to here. Start of our donkey breeding program. <laughs> now we bought them to control wild dogs, or at least keep the wild dogs at bay. That's the plan. Got to do something about the wild dogs. Yeah, we lose too many calves. The pigs. And we don't have the money to put an exclusion fence in. That's the the dream is the exclusion fence. Sook. Well, they look fairly happy. Oh, how couldn't you be happy? This would be a great little paddock for them. I'd like to have brought some cows up here, put with them. But, not happening. We need to go for a walk and check some grapes, do That drives the truck around up here. Oh, that stinks. Already started marking their territory. Good dog. What's this about a two hundred hundred acre? Probably not. Maybe maybe eighty acres. A little eighty acre paddock. Our very first bit of fencing we did up here to bring the cows into to get them used to the country. Better just put them in a little paddock first. Rather than let them out into 2,000 acres with no fences. Yeah, we better go and look at a gate before that donkey actually gets sore. I'll be looking for their foals. Gotta make more baby donkeys. Come out of it, Sook. Min, Lucy. Come here, ignorant little dog. Lucy will be way out wide somewhere. According to her, what I think doesn't count. Oh well, we left them behind. You want cuddles? You're gonna go back to the truck. Really hope that gate shut. Min, come here. No, hold on. Lucy, we are not mustering donkeys. See, there she goes out there. I don't know if you can even see her. Not. 
runs on four legs or two, the dogs think they should probably uh, bring it back to me. It isn't a bad thing. They are working dogs after all. Come out of it, Sook! No reason for it not to keep it. I don't think we have people coming back through this day. No. See your donkeys? They're going this way. Lucy. Min. Sook. For those that have been with me for a while, this is where the bulldozer was for we repairing this dam. You remember how dry and desolate it was looking then. Rain, it's all you need. <laughs> Makes a world of difference. Yeah, go down and have a look at this dam. Dam's holding quite a lot of water still. This dam wall that we repaired actually leaks but it is a very slow seep so it is what it is as long as it holds water long enough to keep or give us the option of putting livestock in here that's all that really matters it's the thing with repairing dams you never really know if they were built properly in the first place and I'd say uh, it was never dug down, never had a core put in it. It was just pushed up. Always need to dig. It'll be dry by the time we get back to the truck. Gotta walk around the fence yet. Hey Lucy baby. Yep, we'll go and check more fence. So I just about finished the lap of the paddock. All the fence seems to be reasonably good enough for the donkeys. Same sort of deal up here. As long as they don't test the fence too much, the fence is fine. Been a bit of fire through here over the years. We haven't replaced the fences yet or put a decent track either side of it to keep fires off it. So all the wires pretty shit really. If it gets pushed on, it'll probably snap. Anyway, this last little bit's quite nice, so turn the camera around and finish the fence check with a little walk back to the truck. Yes, well steamy out here today, that's for sure. really tried to look after this paddock the best we can even when it was really dry I tried to keep it locked up just for that little bit of just in case I had to lock my cows back in here They're somewhere secure with a little bit of feed to put them not that a hundred well 80 acres not that 80 acres up here Feeds 50 cows for very long. Might get a month out of it if everything was going right.
But there's the truck again. I'm gonna jump in and head back down the mountain. Cal wearing the daggiest, daggiest possible hat. I have plans <laughs> to get a new one. At least it keeps the sun off your face. One of my old hats that the boys have worn to death. Yeah. Anyway, keep the shaded. That's what matters. So that's about it, folks, from Robin Kell. Bye. Or from Mountain Block Moments. Catch us on the next one. <laughs>